everyone, my name is Esther. I am from the blog victorialingfarms.com and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys three things. One is I'm going to be sharing a late summer home tour. And two, I'm going to show you how to decorate easily throughout the seasons. And number three, I'm going to be sharing with you my latest vintage finds. So stay tuned. So I have been putting around my house today and I thought this would be a great day to show you my house. I am transitioning into the fall season, but I wanted to capture this moment during the late summer and show you my latest finds. I am going to start showing you my front porch. I first want to welcome you to my channel. When decorating my home, it has been a goal to turn this into my dream home. And one of the things I've always wanted is a flower garden. So this year I planted some beautiful flowers and during these hot summer days, I have been enjoying going outside and sitting for a moment and reading a book. The newest series I've been reading is from Juliet James. I will link that down below. I shared a update of this porch with you last month and on this door I had a really small wreath, but I wanted to add a wow factor. So I took a old grapevine wreath and added the flowers from the original wreath and some white hydrangeas. I'm really loving that look. One of the ways to make decorating easy on the porch has been to just change out flowers and pillows. It gives it a fresh new look, especially those white hydrangeas. They are so beautiful. One of the things that has been really hard for me when decorating is to not move things around. I love creating new looks, but this year I made it a goal to stick with the basics. And today I'm going to show you how I've done that. It has made the transition from season to season so much easier. One of the basics that I like to collect are white ironstone and stoneware. This is what this hutch looked like before and here it is after. By repositioning the pieces here on the hutch it gave it a new look. I like to interchange platters like I did here with that blue one that was there. And yes here is a glimpse of some fall acorn salt and pepper shakers. I'm excited to start decorating for fall. But here are some pieces that I got from Goodwill. They are my most loved decor pieces that I love to put around my home. I had these on my buffet and now I have them here. I will show you that a little later. But it just really gives a really nice new fresh look. I will share a video with you guys of how I decorate this hutch. I will link that up above. It is really easy when you start from scratch. Check out this violin. I found this at an antique store. Don't you just love that wood patina? It is so gorgeous. I have taken you guys shopping with me to many of my favorite places. And these are a lot of things that I found. They have been inexpensive finds. Like this one here, it is a crystal clock. What I love about this one, it goes with that crystal cake stand. That was found at Goodwill for $19.99. I know, I am still pinching myself. I haven't shown you guys up close this Jacobson style cabinet. It has the most beautiful walnut wood. I found this on Craigslist. For $200 and inside I have a lot of my decor pieces and some of the things I use to decorate my table for the seasons when I we have gatherings. I love that Victorian girl bust, that's so cute. On top of the table I put a lace tablecloth and to give it a cozy vibe I placed this little pillow in one of the chairs. 
I've shown you this room with the roses before, but I've never really shown you up close. This is a galvanized planner that I used to put these flowers in. It was such a great combination of the Victorian and farmhouse look. We are here now inside my living room. This is the central area that my family loves to hang out. And I'm going to show you some easy ways to transition. And here it is. This is the before. I kept everything the way it is. Like here I have this chandelier. Isn't that pretty? And here is the after. It's such a subtle change, but decorating has become so easy when I just focus on these little things like here is a print that I had on this wall and it's really pretty, it's a landscape, but I wanted to give this area a new look and so here is the after. And here is one of my latest finds. I found it at Goodwill. The little sugar scoop. I really like the details on here. It's so pretty. The silver candlesticks were also found at Goodwill some years back for $6.99 each. That was a find. Every little thing that I find at a thrift store, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace has added to my home. So here is what this area looked like before and here is what it looks like now. One of my greatest finds is this vintage looking mirror. I found it at a thrift store. I will link that video up above. Another easy transition is by using pillows. It can create a mood and I think that little rose pillow goes perfectly with that Victorian lady print. I love the simple changes in this room. When decorating my home, I have to consider my husband and what he desires. And while he loves all of my decorating, he likes when things stay the same. So how I've been able to make him feel good in our home is by keeping the big pieces of furniture in the same spot and that's really hard but by sticking with the things I'm showing you today of transitioning with easy decor pieces like the prints the flowers the pillows that has helped so much and here comes our little boy he's our new little kitten he is now four months old isn't he cute his name is Samson. Now I'm going to move into my kitchen. I'm going to show you guys another way to transition to the seasons. I have created two vignettes in this kitchen that I interchange over the different seasons. It helps to keep the kitchen the same, but yet look amazing throughout the seasons. Like here, I have some of these floral plants that I actually took from the fireside room, which I'll show you in a minute. But it gave this area a new look. I've been collecting things to create a rooster theme here in my kitchen. And so I have that little hen and then this rooster print. And I'm telling you, the sun is glaring today. Oh my goodness, it's a hot one. But on this side, I have another vignette. And this is where I change out things inside this basket. I found this clock actually from Michael's of all places, but it has that vintage look. I will link that down below. Some other pieces I love to interchange are my candlesticks and candelabras. It can totally change the way a room looks. And then here are some flow blue dishes I added to this dish rack. 
This took me less than 10 minutes to put together. And here is my cow creamer. I love that one. It was such an easy way to give this area a new look. What inspired me were these flow blue dishes I have here on this hutch in my kitchen. A lot of these pieces were found from Goodwill. I will link the most epic Goodwill video you will ever see. It was a day. That is where I found some of the most amazing things like these brown books. And over here I have a coffee grinder that I found there. Oh my goodness. That old vintage scale was found for $10 at a garage sale. But now we transition into this room that I've been working on for a while. I finally added some farmhouse decor and I will show you those in a little bit. But this is what this area looked like before. Now I'm going to show you the power of changing out pillows. This is what it looks like now. Do you see how these pillows have different patterns? The way you can make your pillows go together, no matter what design or pattern they have, is with color. Here is the before. I had the chairs together and then I separated them. But the way I make them look different is by adding different pillows. So there are a couple tips for you regarding pillows. Here is the fireplace mantle before. And then here it is after. And here is what this area looked like before. I thought I found the most perfect place for this gold mirror until I found this mirror. It had the gray, like the galvanized farmhouse pieces I just found. Sometimes things just work out that way and they just go beautifully. I brought that blue floral patterned platter over here and I just love the whole look. Gray and blue go so well together in my opinion. I really love the look. And I just have to show you this Victorian chair up close. It has the most beautiful blue velvet, but look, it goes so beautifully with that platter and that mirror. I just love it, and I will show you what it all looks like, but this is another look before. And then here it is after. I have this antique candelabra, and I put some farmhouse decor here. I've never told you the story about this salvaged piece. It used to be a fireplace mantle and it broke into pieces. My husband put that top part back together for me and I am so grateful. It's such a beautiful piece. This is my newest find. I found it on Amazon. I love the design of it. I'll link that down below. I found that candlestick from Magnolia Market. I went there in person and stuck it in my suitcase when I went home from Texas. That was a lot of fun. These are some more Goodwill finds. These are some old books and a pedestal tray. This Victorian print has been a wonderful addition to my summer decor. Another area I love to decorate an interchange for the seasons is this really cute shelf that has all these little cubbies for all these little intricate little pieces. I've collected old postcards and have doorknobs and fun little things that I love adding to that. And here is the damask pattern which has a Victorian vibe to it. Plus, it's got the blue, like the velvet chair. I just love the overall look here. 
This is one of my newest finds from Goodwill. It is this galvanized tray. I got it for $9.99. I found a beeswax candle from Amazon. I'll link that down below. It's supposed to last a long time, but I am loving this overall look. What do you guys think? I will link the video down below where I add these new curtains. I think it's coming together. So thank you guys for watching. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed showing you all my things today. So if you liked this video, I would sure would love a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe right down below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.